My name is Richard Stafford, and I'm directing and choreographing Casamagnana Zavita. The classic <laughs> Evita, the Hal Pritz, Larry Fuller, um, original design and original direction, original choreography can't be beat, you know. So I'm really sort of coming coming back t toward that idea of it. So there'll be tremendous dancing, there'll be tremendous singing, you know, the, the Andrew Lloyd Webber score, again, one of his finest. Don't cry for me, Argentina. I saw Evita after it had just opened in London. I was studying there, I was at an acting school there, and uh, it was a hot ticket in town, so I went, I remember sitting in the balcony and uh, just enthralled with the show, nothing like it had ever been seen before. I came to New York and um, auditioned for the first national tour. It had just opened in 1979, I got to New York in 79, and auditioned in 1980 for the national tour, first national tour. So I was happily cast, thrilled to be cast, a dream show to be in. And uh, so that was really the beginning of it. And since then I've directed it in numerous places. I've had the privilege of, of doing my own choreography. I've had the privilege of doing Larry Fuller's choreography, Hal Prince's direction on the show. And, um, you know, it just never gets, it never gets old. It's always relevant because of, you know, we have political upheaval happening in our country. We have quests for power, you know, certainly from all, from both sides of the aisle, the political spectrum. And we have to sift through that. And I think we learn, certainly learn from the history. We can learn from the Peronist revolution in, in, um, in Argentina of the period. Eva Perón lived uh, until 1952, that's when she died, and her power was from 1946 to 1952, and all the change that happened during that, during that time, you know. One of the main things that, that really drove her was this sense of not being enough. She, she was born in, into poverty and um, had no social standing at all. As a woman, uh, wanted power and, and had, a, had an idea, had a vision, and, and went after that. She was cunning and she was canny, she was also charming, she was beautiful, she had all of these things going for her and she did have a message and she really spoke to the people. Just listen to that, the voice of Argentina, we are the dead, we are loved. How does a politician speak to the people? How does a politician move forward? What is your message? What are you trying to say? Where are you trying to lead your country? Oh my goodness, you know, she died so young, she was 33 when she died, and she could have, you know, I think that, I think that had she had more time, um, things could have perhaps changed a little bit, I don't know, I mean, who knows. I mean, the outpouring of love and grief at her death is certainly it's how we begin our show. So, you know, to do so, a powerful piece like this that really speaks to us is going to, I think the audience is really going to be blown away by what they see. We have tremendous performers, tremendous actors, singers, dancers already lined up to be in the show. So I think it's going to be an exciting production. Just